Hey guys, it's Multiply here with Plugin Boutique today, looking at Magic AB from Sample Magic. And we're going to focus in on how we can use this tool to reference, or what we sometimes call AB, different versions of masters and different tracks in the mastering stage. So let's dive in and take a look. So the idea behind Magic AB is we can compare whatever's playing in the project currently, which will be the A side, with whatever audio file we load up into Magic AB which would be the B-side. So at the moment we have an unreleased track of mine which I've run through various mastering settings and that would be the A-side. So if we just say play it back as is and we have A selected, we hear the current project. Whereas if we hit B, we don't hear anything because we haven't actually loaded up a reference file into Magic AB. So if I want to compare this current new set of mastering settings with maybe a master I made last year to see which version I prefer, it's as simple as loading up that previous master into Magic AB and then flicking between these A and B buttons on the right hand side. So I'll navigate to the previous master on my hard drive on the desktop and drag it into say the top left slot should do fine. And then what we want to do, because we're comparing exactly the same track with exactly the same arrangement, what would be ideal is to sync up what's playing back in Magic AB with what's playing back in Arrangement View in our project file in our DAW. So to do that, we hit Sync. And now, no matter where I play back this track from in our project file, it will jump to the corresponding point when basically playing it back in Magic AB. So you can compare like for like. It's really cool. Check it out. So if I start from the beginning, and notice Magic AB will play back from the beginning. Whereas if I start, say, halfway through, it jumps halfway through in Magic AB. So everything is synced up. And the nice thing about that is it now allows me to pick a point in the track or the beginning, wherever I want to start from, and hit A and B to jump between these two different versions. Remember, A is the current project, and B is whatever we've loaded up in Magic AB. Check it out. Cool stuff. So I could hear at a glance that the new master settings that I've just set up this other day is slightly brighter, slightly louder, and I prefer the new settings. Pretty cool, right? But we can take it one step further. We don't just have to compare light for light. We could load up any other files into Magic AB. So let's say I want to compare it to not just a previous version of the master, but let's say I also want to compare this to another track that might feature on the same EP, or maybe even another reference track from another artist. I can do that by simply loading up another one of these slots here. So what I could do is find, say, another track that might appear on the same EP or album, Happy Floaty Cloud Fun, and load it up into, say, slot, let's say, yeah, the slot below it. Hide away the browser, and then it's a simple case of now pressing play on Happy Floaty Cloud Fun, this other track, and it will load up on the B side this different track instead of that previous master. So now, as I play it back on the B side, we're hearing this different track, but we can still nice and easily jump to the, the current project settings by hitting A. And then what we might find we want to do is jump through, if it's a different track, we might want to jump through to a different point in the track to compare, say, the main bit of the second track with the main bit of this current project. So that's just a case of moving through the timeline. So we can, say, move, say, to here. And the good news is they sound, broadly speaking, in the same ballpark in terms of the frequency balance, loudness, things like that. So nice and quickly, we can compare these two, what we call A being, and yeah, it's just a nice, quick way of doing it. 
And finally, I want to show you two cool little features that are nice and quick to demonstrate that I think are really cool built into Magic AB. First of all, we have the mini AB button down here, which miniaturizes the GUI, the interface. So we can hit mini AB, jump between the different A and the B buttons with these guys here. And then we also have the slot play buttons on the, the right hand side as well. So if we want to jump back to say the previous master, we can hit that play button. And we have the mono compatibility button, which is this mono guide just above the A and the B, which does exactly what you expect it to do. We load up the slide, we want to check for mono compatibility, say the original project file here on A side, and we'll play it back for maybe a second or two, and then hit the mono button and it will condense it to mono and we can see if it all is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So it's a nice, quick and simple way to check if our track will be mono compatible. And there you go, that's Magic AB, I've been Multiplier, hope you enjoyed.